Hi kitties, welcome again. So today we're going to do removal of buildup in locks. So on my table, as you can see, are the items that I'll be using. We have Arm & Hamel baking soda, which we're going to apply on the locks and in the hot water. We have our clips to hold up the hair. We have our barber comb, which has two sides teeth two different measurements and we have our lock clip we have elastics that we're going to use to style the hair at the end we have our gel which is a soft and silky styling gel is really nice I must say and as you know from the last video we have our milk growth that we're going to apply on the roots and nuts the most important thing our hot water so our hot water is already boiled and we have our container that we're uh, going to ask the client to rest his head back so the locks can soak in the baking soda and water and that's it so stay tuned right so welcome back again continuing from the first video of the introduction of the items that i'm going to use we're going to work on his back locks which has some build-ups in it uh, you can see so we're going to use our baking soda arm and hammer and we're going to use some warm water right now. So we're going to apply the baking soda and warm water onto his locks. So I'm going to wet his locks first. So it's warm water. So we're going to make sure that we soak these locks. I know normally you probably see videos that have the apple cider vinegar but we don't have any apple cider vinegar today so we're going to try it with the baking soda and hot water alone and see the outcome of it so we're going to apply the baking soda now onto the locks you want to make sure that all the locks have the baking soda in it. And then what I'm gonna do is to work individually is just to rub the hair. And the warm water is to actually make it more easier to lift. So we're going to soak the locks afterwards into the hot water and baking soda. But this is to kind of make the process a little bit more quicker. We're going to add our hot water. Can you see the steam? Please don't burn yourself. baking soda the wonders of baking soda I think that should be enough because it's not a whole head of locks so I'm just gonna use my comb so we're gonna dip his locks in now remember guys we don't have any apple cider vinegar today please ah so we're dipping his locks in We're soaking his locks. We're going to soak it for 30 minutes. Are you okay? Remember his builds ups are there from when he started his locks, which are from around 2015. It's 2015 or 2016. You can actually see the water color. The color of the water is changing. Can you see? right so those are the excess dirt the buildup that's coming from his locks okay so this is what's left of the dirt coming from his hair as you can see from the before video when it was clear and the baking soda went in there and then his locks went in so this is what came from his little locks at the back so what we're going to do now is to change the water put in fresh hot water and soak again because 
within the locks itself like if it was supposed to probably split this and cut you still have dirt on the inside so we're going to soak again without the baking soda the bowl is empty its locks are in we're going to do a second rinse well it would be a rinse because there's no baking soda so we're trying to take out all the excess baking soda that's in his hair so it's just hot water We want to make sure that the water comes back out clearer than norm or clear as can be as you can see the color is starting to change already so that means there's still baking soda in his locks and dirt so this is what we're trying to soak out so we're actually going to do another soak again seeing that we're not going to wash his full head because normally you can wash your hair and just wash it out and wash it out until it just comes out clean in the shampoo itself so we're just using hot water to wash his hair so it's not as dirty as before so you know we took out majority in the first soak please ensure that your client is not getting burned burned I know it's a burnt 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 okay guys please So reason why I'm spraying because the roots of his locks are not catching the water to be honest which I would love for it to catch but it's not so I guess when he's going to wash his hair he can just deal with the root parts so I'm going to lift his locks can you see how it was from the before and after you can probably see a little bit of build up still so I would say that it's not going to come out all at once so we'll have to do another baking soda and probably try the apple seed or apple cider vinegar on the next I would call it detox <laughs> but on the next removal of buildups but we have taken up majority like majority hmm? So if you have any questions, you can just comment below and I'll be able to answer. Alright, so I'm just going to make this soap. Alright. So the baking soda and the hot water actually works without the apple cider vinegar and lime. Remember, you can also call me or WhatsApp me if you would like me to do this for you in your own locks. Or if you like your locks to be groom or interlock or palm roll, hit me up, Hair Kitty. So, we've done our soak, done our rings. Now, what we're going to do is just a style. So, the hair is wet. So, we're just going to relock, groom his locks, and then style it. Alright, so stay tuned for images. Thank you for making it here, kitty.